We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. What if the experts are wrong? What if quarantining the healthy doesn't actually save lives? What if wearing a mask in public is not effective? My name is Dr. Jeff Barkey, and I'm here representing thousands of physicians across the country whose voices are being silenced because we don't agree with the mainstream media and the experts who are telling us what to do. Never in the history of this great republic have we quarantined the healthy. Never in the history of this great republic have we told churchgoers that it's illegal for you to exercise your First Amendment right of freedom of religion. Yet at the same time, it's essential to keep pot dispensaries open. Never in the history of this country have we been told that you can't go to church because it's not essential, but you can go get an abortion because that's essential. Never before in our country have we let criminals out of jail, but we've told you you can't exercise your Second Amendment right and protect yourself by purchasing a firearm. When liquor stores are deemed essential, but your businesses are deemed non-essential, there's something wrong going on. This booklet, the Declaration of Independence and our U.S. Constitution, was never designed to restrain the people. It was designed to restrain the government. This is not New York, and thank God this is not San Francisco. <laughs> Governor Newsom has gone too far. <laughs> Governor Newsom has stepped on our liberties and our freedoms. As a physician, I can tell you, yes, this virus is dangerous, but as we see the statistics come in, we're realizing that the fatality rate of this virus is in the ballpark of a bad seasonal influenza. What we're also knowing is that just like other respiratory viral illnesses in the past, we get over this virus by achieving herd immunity. We can never achieve herd immunity by keeping the herd quarantined. It's time that we protect the vulnerable and the most at risk, but we allow the young and the healthy to open the doors and go back to work. Do not let your voices be silenced. Make sure that your elected representatives, who apparently are essential, hear your voice loud and clear. As we see unemployment rise to depression levels, we also see suicide increase. We see domestic violence increase. We see child abuse increase. We see alcohol and drug abuse increase, all because the government has overstepped its reach. We will see eventually that this cure, that this government-imposed cure is going to be worse than the virus itself. But what's happening now is unemployment reaches 20 to 30 million people, is those folks are now becoming dependent on the government. 
And what government dependency causes is a larger, more tyrannical government. We the people want to get back to work. We the people want to put our government back in its place. We want a small representative government, not a large tyrannical government. I'm here representing thousands of physicians around the country whose voices must be heard. It is an honor and a privilege to be here to ask that Riverside County be opened. We want Orange County to be open. We want the whole state of California to be open. And we want our whole country, the United States of America, to open back up, and we the people will not take it any longer. Thank you for inviting me to attend this rally. Stay strong and be safe.